Comanchero national president, Alan Meehan is facing pressure from inside and outside of the club since taking over the position of the president, of what is known as the country's most powerful bikey club the Comanchero. Media reports and police sources say that an internal struggle is growing between the current and the ex-national presidents and also between the new and old club bikies. Mick Murray who is in Melbourne prison charged with murder, has been unhappy with Meehan's choice as the president. It's said to have raised tensions among older members of the club who are wary of Meehan's high profile, sparking support for Murray's return. According to Murray, once he is out, he will take the reins back and lead the club on his terms. According to sources, Murray is not happy about some critical decisions that Meehan took as a president, and also has concerns about Meehan's past as a former Rebels member who switched allegiances. Meehan knows a lot about other clubs and has worked his way up through connections and alliances which is considered dangerous for the club, moreover his friendship with Jesse Vela and his patching over was a red flag for Murray. Murray and other older bikies are concerned by Mian's fascination with social media and were reportedly very unhappy when Mian shared pictures of Zahed and other bikies online. Mian has been a regular on Instagram since taking charge, posting pictures of himself and his wife in bathrobes, plus pics of gang meetups and a video of a flashy custom gold Harley Davidson motorbike in Comanchero colors. Social media is the wrong platform to plan club events, to flock club members, to show off your riches, to recruit members or challenge and threaten rivals. As it's not only the rival clubs who are watching you it's the enforcement agencies as well. In modern times agencies use social media to track you down, and it is also used a valid means to gather evidence, which can be successfully used against you to prosecute you, when time comes. They believe it's the social media show-off that has cost to the club. It is not a coincidence that Zahed gets arrested and Mian's accounts get frozen, after they show off on Insta and TikTok. Murray himself believes in code of silence, he never had any social media accounts and never posted anything online. He is famously known as the hard man who never blinks. In the ferocious world of 1%er outlaw motorcycle clubs, Mick Murray has been at the top of the food chain for years. According to agencies he is hard to break, like a crocodile he has a thick hide, he rarely blinks, and operates silently below the surface. But Mian is determined, and is busy establishing control and influence. Mian is strategically placing key members in crucial positions in the club to gain power and support, by doing so, not only is he trying to run the club smoothly but is also thinking ahead, as he would need support and control when his presidency goes through a storm. However, some sources say Mark Buttle is effectively running the club from behind bars, and still calls the shots, and it will be his decision at the end of the day. This is hard to believe, as the world commander is in solitary confinement, in the high-risk and maximum security Barwin prison. While others in Victoria believe Mick Murray should never have been removed, as he led the club in a very effective and disciplined manner. But media thinks most Como bikies don't want to have a president who is behind bars, they want a president who is approachable and contactable. So Mian is their choice at least for now, 